Hello, everyone. Welcome to the show. Uh, we're here to do a little bit of Lord of the Rings 5e. Uh, we're going through the Shire Adventures, and we're going to be doing the first adventure from that book. Um, the entire like little campaign arc is called Conspiracy of the Red Book. And we're starting out with the chapter, A Conspiracy Most Cracked. Um, I have no idea. I, I don't even, like... Let's just make noises, so... And we're going to make... Adam, make <laughs> <laughs> Adam, who are you hmm? playing tonight? Uh, shoot, I didn't put that in the... Uh, How dare you? How dare you? No. Little Didn't put there. that in Zoom, but uh, I have it on uh, my character sheet, Lobelia Brace Girdle. The OG sh terror of the Shire. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Didn't want to get married, so no one took her. Took. Good night, folks. That was great. We'll see y'all later. <laughs> Good story of everybody. Oh. <laughs> True story. My train. I told you we should have a betting pool of how many tuk tuks tonight. <laughs> uh, oh, I am playing Rory Mac Brandybuck, uh, Rory for short. Uh, <laughs> thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, Jeremy, what do you got, man? Hello, I'm Paladin Took. I'm a very happy young member of the Took clan. And I've got responsibilities in my future, but I don't want to do any of them today. Nice. Very good. Mike. I'm playing Drogo Baggins. <laughs> Drogo. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. D R O G O. That's Drogo, That's right? Drogo. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's our uh, Game of Thrones Lord of the Rings crossover event. <laughs> that would be yeah. so awesome. <laughs> it's what we've all been waiting for. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see a bunch of hobbits on little ponies just yeah. <laughs> marauding the countryside. Yeah. <laughs> As they do. Yeah, oh. yeah that, that's who I'm playing. Cool. Okay. Damn. If we ever do a campaign of this, that's what we need to do. Uh, I can agree to this. Shy is like a whole other thing. Whole different thing. <laughs> that's true. It's just Dark Sun, which is why I left Dark Sun. <laughs> Dan, what do you got? Uh, I'm playing as Morel took, and by the time we're done with the stream, they'll say Dan took the story and threw it in the trash. Not expecting the pun from you. The fuck? How dare? Someone keep count. We're at two. Uh, so we're gonna far, keep. No? Yeah, someone Counting keep shit. track of how many took puns we end up with tonight. Uh, it's gonna be a lot. Um, <laughs> so also, I'm gonna put this out here now. Uh, thanks to my tray, we're going to have a giveaway. We're going to do it like, like an hour in, I think. So like 10 PM for us here in the Midwest, um, where we're giving away Beetle and Grimm game master journal. Is that right? My tray. What the hell are we giving away? It's a game master journal uh, and it's got this really cool cork cover with the dragon on it and you can like personalize it and it's uh got space for uh campaign notes if you're a gm or an aspiring gm or just a world builder and like maybe if you're just like noodling around with beast of fiction and stuff uh and my personal involvement with it was that i helped with uh some of the safety tool stuff that's nice. in there and um nice. yeah so uh, that's what we're that. giving away. Sorry, say it again. Said I wish I could win that. <laughs> no, me too. <laughs> oh, I, look, that's all my rules for who gets to enter the giveaway. Chuck's I, the Nazi here, not I, me. I mean, I could be <laughs> the person who applies I mean, true, for it and wow. still not win. <laughs> that's Nobody true. usually says it out loud. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> uh, yeah, so we'll <clears> give that away later. Chasm. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Adam. <laughs> you know, just gotta worry about anyone taking it the wrong way, you know. <laughs> That's right. Sometimes we're supposed to do that, aren't we? Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> uh... I don't have that switch. <laughs> oh man. 
Anyway, I got sidetracked. Uh, oh, I had a question for you, Maitre. In your involvement on this, did you did you get to meet with Matthew Lillard? Did not, but the uh, friend of mine who got me involved is basically like besties with Matt Lillard, and I'm very jealous. Uh, <laughs> when when are you going to try and use that to manipulate? Honestly, I'm very disappointed in myself that it hasn't happened already. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh oh adam he he words. said something to me once we adam and i met him at gen con yeah he said thanks uh-huh uh-huh adam went up and adam was very poised and proper and said excuse me mr lillard i am a huge fan of your work i enjoy your movies and i enjoy the work you're doing in the tabletop industry and matthew lillard was like thanks and i was over there fangirling i panicked a little bit all i managed to get out is i just yelled live her alone <laughs> <laughs> no it wasn't oh quite that God. It was really quick because he was working. He was, like, he was he was busy. So I just according to her, he gives great hugs. And oh. I was like, that's it really not okay that you know that and I don't. <laughs> we'll get you there someday, my tray. Yes, thank it you. It is now Grim and Perilous Studios personal personal mission to thank see you. how long you can you can hold on to one of those hugs and when the awkwardness Thank becomes you. too much for Matthew Lillard. Thank you. I, I'm really good at hugging for just three seconds too long. So... Yeah. <laughs> well, it looks like uh, we need to go to Gen Con. So either yes. we're going to get you like a hundred steps closer or a restraining order away. <laughs> either way, Grim Perilous is involved. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, restraining That's... order just means you have it on paper proving your connection to him. That's oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Sure. <laughs> Grim and Perilous Studios. We have a restraining order against us for Matthew Lillard. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I was like, get you know, get your stuff now, because in a year we'll be bankrupt. Anyway, <laughs> give away safety tools, that kind of yeah, thing. Yeah. <laughs> Let us talk to you about safety tools after we hold somebody who doesn't want to be held for too long. <laughs> God. <laughs> I saw where that it was, was going. That was a joke, and that was very much an expert moment. So I'm I apologize. No, I'm just... <laughs> for anyone who needs <laughs> that sarcasm. Matthew Lord, I'm if you're sarcasm. watching this, we love you, and we're we're gonna hug you. And he's the reason I have a mohawk. We're gonna hug you so much. Oh God, Jeremy, <laughs> what? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> His uh, dance scene right 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 from Let's... She's All That lives like rent oh. free in my head. There you I go. just there love you that go. so much. All right. Let's get this on before before Adam like hires assassins <laughs> and sends them after all of us. You yeah. mean before it was took already. too far? Oh, there's three. Oh, Cooking too far. <laughs> I have a hobby because a he'll give people that have a very skills. special set of skills. <laughs> yes. Okay, I want to play the Liam Neeson Hobbit. Oh, no. That's great. Oh. All right. Mostly oh. Chuck. Yes. Uh, all right. So here's how we're going to do this. You all have been summoned. Received a nice, well-written letter delivered by the messengers by none other than uh that's a great command there none other than your relative in some form uh bilbo baggins mad baggins as he's known around the shire and he says please arrive at my house at bag end 5 30 p.m sharp food and drink shall be served And after a long walk, it was uh, it was one of those bright, kind of almost sweltering afternoons that kind of started a little later on, turned into some rainstorms, and now it's all cleared out. So it's it's coming up on evening. The stars are coming out; they're bright, and you find yourselves walking up the road towards bag end you all find yourselves meeting each other on the road you're all of course family in some way or the other 
And as you make your way towards the big green door at the front of Bag End, the home of the strange and famous Bilbo Baggins, uh, who's going to knock? Drogo will. Oh, oh, oh okay, race sorry. Up. Oh no, it's a competition. S synchronized knocking. Well, Wait, as yeah, the two oh of you gosh. go up for a synchronized knock, the door flies <clears throat> open. Oh god! Slightly startling all of you. And standing there on a small mat, right inside the door, is none other than Bilbo himself. He comes here, he gives each of you a, a warm greeting, a strong handshake. Well, Labilia, Labilia, it's fantastic to see you. I'm glad you've made it. Rory Mac, you're looking well. Glad you could make it here. Paladin, thank you, thank you. kindly. What? Well, thank you so kindly. You're quite welcome, quite welcome. Glad to have you here. Drogo, no. looking as fit as ever. Mm hmm. Thank you. Uh, Esmeralda, my dear, I'm glad you could make it. Why don't you all Five please. Pounds. Yeah, why don't you all please come in, come in. Uh, head towards the parlor. Yes, sir. I think ushers you, and you all know where to go to the get to the parlor. Uh, Dan, that's a very Esmeralda walk there. I appreciate that. I assume that's exactly how it is. Mm hmm Fantastic home you have here, sir. Oh, thank you. Thank you, my dear boy. It's fun. It's just... Great to have you here. You have a lot of books. I've got quite a few. I do enjoy reading. I do. I do. Any? No. Uh, yeah. Uh, real quick, who do we? Who, who is this we're meeting again? I'm sorry, it was Bilbo. Yes, okay. okay. Bilbo. Is that just says who's Baggins. that? What's who's that? Bilbo? <laughs> What's the bag? Oh no, I know. <laughs> I know precisely who Bilbo is. He's one of the Bagginses. Well, they're they're much better than those dreadful Sackville Backenses. <sighs> oh no! Did he do something? Gosh. Well, one of them tried to marry me, and oh, I no. will not be shackled. Did you know they tell me I have to get married soon, and I don't want to do that? No, I mean not yet. Oh my gosh! You I better do that, that before they say it took you long enough. Hang on a oh. second. Oh, yeah. How Fine. long is too long and how early is too soon? Because I feel like I'm in the too soon, but I don't want to wait till the too long. Oops. Got yeah, like a second. Hang on a second. It's your life. You choose what you want. I need to look at something. You have great advice. Thank you. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. So that means that Dan and Jeremy are siblings in this. Yep. And I, I didn't I'm remember. I'm Dan's little brother. I didn't oh, remember the lineup. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, are Dan and Jeremy playing betrothed in this? That would be that really way. weird. Would be, would be. We don't have those kinds of feelings. Still tying time. into that game, <laughs> yeah. uh, game of Thrones crossover. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> oh, oh no. no. <laughs> you gotta keep the took line close. <laughs> we never took in any outsiders. Oh, oh how many? Oh, how oh, many? Oh, oh, yes. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Dan. Wow. Chuck, I don't know how, but I feel like this is your fault. <laughs> I do. Definitely is. 100% is. Uh, yeah, you're all swept into the parlor. There's a lovely fire in the hearth. Mugs of ale are out on the table. There's plates with little dainties, snacks, <laughs> finger foods. There's cushioned chairs and sofas. Plenty of room for everyone to sit. And Bilbo, he, he guides you all in. Cheery as shit. Oh, please, please, everyone. Take a seat. Take a seat. I'll yes, take a seat. I walk in take, um, and hold out my umbrella. Oh, uh, my apologies, my dear. And he takes your umbrella and he hangs it up by the door. Oh, Thank can you. I pull out your chair for you? Oh, yes, yes, you may. You are such a nice lady. It's not often I meet uh, people with manners like yourself. 
It's really nice of you to say. I've been working very hard on them, ma'am, and I thank you for saying that. Are you proud of your brother? Yes. No, I was uh, looking at Esmeralda. Oh, sorry. Oh, I mean, most of the time. You should be. I'm proud of my sister. She's great. <laughs> I mean, I'm, his voice is kind of gross sometimes. I'm very <laughs> proud that you're all so proud of each other, but please eat before the food gets cold. And there is, it's you know, definitely a hobbit sized feast. All manners are gone. <laughs> this is one of those moments. Oh, my dear so Paladin. Proud. That reminds me of the last time that I had a party of dwarves over for meal. I eat like a dwarf? You very much eat like a dwarf. I can't um, wait to grow a beard. I wish you the best of luck in that, my boy. <laughs> now, after the meal is over, you can tell he's really chomping at the bit. All right, all right. So, we've eaten. Our bellies are full. We're happy. And I have no doubt that you're all very curious as to why I've called you here this evening. Well, as he kind of leans in on his seat, elbow on his knees, fire light from the things kind of like dancing across his face. I am hoping that you all would be willing to partake in a little adventure. I do it. No. Yes, yes. Now, now, mind you, nothing as grand as my own, and I'm afraid. How scandalous. I know it is, but it's worthwhile, and um, of the importance, it really is. Now, I would not ask you to do this for no reward. So, in return for your aid in this adventure, I will proudly provide each of you with a place in my memoirs and a fair share of my eternal gratitude. That's worth a lot, Tom. It's a, uh, I don't know. Can I ask just a small question? Yes, yes. Do memoirs have to be 100% factual? Yes, yes. Just... Don't read the earlier editions of the Red Book. Oh, so you couldn't write that I was the only hobbit to ever have a beard? My boy, I think it already says that in there about you. Wink. <laughs> I'm going to give him a hug. It's probably going to last three seconds too long. It lasts <laughs> three <laughs> seconds too long, but then he carries it on for another three seconds too long. I'm good at this game. Very much so. That is exactly right, Australia. He is paying in exposure. <laughs> He's paying with the yes. He grabs <laughs> a glass of wine off the table. Now, I'm sure I know what you're all thinking. There goes old Bilbo again, taking after that wizard Gandalf and sending you fine hobbits off into the blue. Bro, he's lighting his pipe. He's been quiet this whole time. Well, well, that is know. exactly what I was thinking. I was also thinking yes. that you would send us back with ponies full of treasure, like you returned with, uh, Bilbo. Sadly, <laughs> we, we, the, who knows where the... way the that I could never do. Yes. Yes. doesn't have to be just one. Even no. sadly, this first leg of the adventure is not that grand. It's um, it, well, it it's just a little trip to Mickle Delving, just it's down fun. down the road, uh, it, to recover what one might call a family heirloom from the Mather Mouse. Just a map of the Shire, supposedly made by the old Duke himself, with many precious and important annotations upon it. Now, I know what you're saying. Why don't you just head down to the Matham House and retrieve it yourself? Now, I have sent many letters to the custodian, Malva Slowfoot, asking if I could have it back. Even offering generous donations, but for some reason she's provided no reply. So I thought, we needn't tell her or her husband. I mean, after all, we're talking about something that belonged to my grandfather. 
many of yours as well, and that would not be out of place here in Bag End. Now, most of all, we don't need to alert that pesky dog of hers. That, that beast, he sniffs me out every time, sharp as attack, true guardian of the Madam House. So you're saying we're stealing? <laughs> I would not call it stealing. I would call it retrieving my rightful property. Mm -hmm. Now, continuing on with this thought, I know, I know that some of you place a lot of value on local gossip and even just the thought of being seen in the night in the company of of mad baggins uh, might be enough to ruin your reputation forever. So sadly, I will not be able to accompany you on this. But uh, for those of you with spirit, which I know you've all gotten spades, uh, you, you can certainly do this. If not, I would have never summoned you here tonight. Now, will you aid me in this errand of particular importance, my fellow conspirators? That'll word I like. Yes, if you, will, me. if you will do me the favor of yes. telling telling those dreadful distant relatives of yours, the Sackville Bagginses, uh, that no means no. I will, certainly, I will write a strongly worded letter in a very bold print. I'm in. Very well. As am I, I have been wanting to see this strangeness of Bilbo first hand. Well, you, very well. You've got it. You've got it, my friend. If When we bring it back, will you cook more of those sausages you had? I would love to. Oh. Nothing would please me more than making more of those delicious, tasty, wonderful sausages for the first bearded hobbit. Yes! <laughs> Drogo, Esmeralda. I can see it coming in, actually. I mean, like, I I'm curious. Up, so. Yeah. Uh, what would Bilbo be to me? Would he be a, like a cousin be or like a, a brother? Cousin. Okay. Uh, a cousin, I think. Let me check. I know how to read things, I think. Because, I mean, Frodo was a nephew, right? Uh, Frodo was a nephew. So, oh, so yeah, that he make would me... be a brother, yeah. Okay. Because you will be Frodo's father. What? what? Spoilers! <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Let's get him killed tonight. Yeah. Suck at continuity. That's yeah. Right. How fast can we ruin the continuity? If I can't spell it, I don't respect it. <laughs> so, Esmeralda, dear. So, yes. Uh, so Tell me, brother, uh, have you not just gone there in person and asked for it? You she sent has, letters, but I have sent letters and she has not responded. Uh, and I just, I just have not had the time to make it down there. And oh, oh yeah, mean, have... that's not entirely true. I have gone by several times at night, sneaking, uh, and the dog has always found me out and chased me off. I have heard you were quite the burglar. Oh. I was indeed. <laughs> Sometimes I will have to tell you again the story of how I burgled the treasure from the great fireworm smog, as well as I burgled an entire party of dwarves out of the dungeon of an elven king. Do not believe all the stories about you, but I want to. It's quite true. It's quite true. <laughs> You can get I'm past so elves blind. and a dragon, but not a dog. Yes, it's an odd <laughs> thing, isn't it? <laughs> they weren't used to hobbit tactics. Mm. Uh -uh. This dog is, in oh, fact, strange. very used to hobbit tactics. <laughs> <laughs> then I don't see a reason why we couldn't just go down there, knock on their door, and demand our property back. Perhaps we can pet the dog in the process. Right, Maybe. Right. Just ask very politely. I have heard so, rumors that Malva is not in letting anyone 
into the Matham House anymore, because they've had problems with some of the younger hobbits making a game of seeing what they can swipe out of the Matham House. Hmm. Which is different than what we're doing. They are so swiping need... things that they have no right to, whereas we are merely recovering our own property. So we need to go and recover your property. Yes. And what's it? what will we gain in return? Ah, uh, as I sausages. said. Sausages. Sausages, yes, yes, yes. Uh, warm regards in my memoirs. Eternal gratitude. Is that not enough for gentle hobbit folks such as yourself? Well, it does warm the heart, but... Uh... Also, if this goes well, I may have more need of sturdy adventurers such as yourselves. And who knows, there could be a chance for wealth tied into that as well. Well, is that good enough for the rest of you? Yes, I mean... Vermeer, are you not curious about these stories they tell about Bilbo? Oh, I am. Yeah, but that means people know about him, which means if he re if he writes memoirs, people are going to read him, which means people are going to know that I have a beard. That's so I'm right. in. Also sausages. Also sausages. I could tell you about the time that me and Gandalf and our party of dwarves we were traveling with, Thorn Oakenshield, the rightful king under the mountain, we were chased out of a nasty goblin cave, right up trees where we threw fire down on them and eventually were rescued by the great eagles. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. The eagles are coming. The eagles are coming. You've told this story several times. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Someday I hope to make a great trip south and I'm just going to have the eagles take me there. Oh. oh, your memoirs, perhaps well, they can be called Here and There Again. That is a good title, a good title. I'm quite glad that you thought of it, and I'm totally going to give you complete credit for that. Copyright Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> well, since you'll be getting the eagles <laughs> to take you somewhere... Now, of course, it wouldn't be too much to talk them into giving someone a ride just so they can say that they've ridden on an eagle. If I ever have the eagles here again to take me anywhere, I will gladly invite you along with me. You see, there's a reason there's not Sackville in front of your surname. What's that? There's a reason there's not Sackville in front of your well, surname. I, I've, I, I caught that part, but what is the reason? You're good. You're one of the good ones. <laughs> I love this, and I'm glad that our relationship will never sour. Well, you have my parasol. I, it is hanging by the door. Now, wait, I understand you're ready to go, and I appreciate your eagerness, but I have a plan, my friends, a great plan indeed. Mm. First off, first off, I would like to offer you all to stay the night here. Sleepover? Sleepover. I have many rooms with many wonderful, fluffy, comfortable beds. We'll have a wonderful breakfast in the morning. A wonderful second breakfast. And then you begin can begin your trip. Uh, in fact... In fact, would you have prov would you have provisions for eleven seas once we're on the road? I would absolutely love to provide you with eleven seas. <laughs> now this will do. Maybe we will be back in time for tea at four. I yeah. You will How not. far away is it? Well, let me show you. And he pulls out a very basic map of the two clans here. Now, as you'll all see as he points at the map, we're all here at Bag End. And what I would like you to do is you are going to head north here to Overhill. And then at Overhill, you're going to cut west across the river. A river, it's a shallow point as I've marked on the map. It'll be an easy walk. If you hop lightly, you won't even get your toes wet. And then, 
after you make it to the road, you'll cut south again, a little off through the woods to the main road, heading west thereafter till you get to Waymeet. Now, if you travel true, you should make it to Waymeet by tomorrow evening, and I will provide you the coin needed to get a get yourselves a nice room at the I totally didn't forget the name the walking party inn <laughs> after that it'll be an easy walk the next day to Mickle Delving and then you should arrive there after dark where you'll have easy access to the Madam House now, this is all planned entirely, so that way, as conspirators of mine, no one here locally in Hobbiton will know that I've sent you off in an adventure. And your arrival at Mickle Delving will be covered by night, meaning you can get in and get out without anyone being any of the wiser. It will require you to be away tonight, tomorrow night, the night after, you will arrive at Mickle Delving, and you may have to camp. You could see if you could find lodging at Mickle Delving, and I'll gladly increase the purse enough to cover a room there if you can. And then after that, return to Waymeet, another night out, and finally returning back here. Okay. Oh, one more question. Yes, by then. Do you have jerky or anything salted that could last for a couple of days travel? Absolutely. What if we throw some meat out for the dog? That is a genius. It's idea. a good boy. It's just protecting its house. So we feed the good boy and then we do what we need to do. That is a fantastic idea. Calvin is so smart. You should give him an entire chapter in your memory. I might have. Oh my God, he's so very, nice. A charming, smart, brave, bearded lad. Bearded. Bearded. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. So, does that sound like a good plan for all of you? Yes. Yeah. Sure. Sounds good to me. Very good. Well, before we send you off for the night, how about a nightcap? Yes, please. He he brings out a nice, you know, uh, fortified wine. And you all have a good drink. You all make it to your own rooms. Very plush, very nice. Well taken care of. I think this is nicer than my room. 